okay so you you must save this form whenever you make some changes uh, okay let's do this now you have to go to next record now for example go to another new one let's say there and uh, 2556325 okay so although I have a save button but I press the close the form now what's it going to do now if I show you a data uh, now see the last record also is added here although I did not I did not press the save button so actually in the in the access form there is only a one way to to not stop automatically this so that will be a VBA you have to use that uh, uh, VBA command for that one okay I'm going to show you now just click on the form now this form is active then you have to go to a events on the event you see they're on current so you're now you're on the current form and you just choose their events okay so that is opened for now here I need something what I need I need to declare a variable a variable is just create a variable private m save m saved as boolean So that's my variable and on the current under the under that current attribute I'm going to say M M saved equal to false so actually that is a variable that I want to create so it must be uh, <coughs> it should be a false so i'm going to turn on this only when i press the save button okay so let's check now <clears throat> there is no any error okay now the next thing is you have to do uh, so you was on the on current Okay, so but before update, you want to do something before update as well. Just click. Uh, actually, I can just do that. Yeah. So now you can see form before update cancel as an integer. So you are here. Here I'm going to say if. if m save if mm, okay why it gives error okay if m saved is equal to false okay i shouldn't print, press the enter then then the cancel is equal to true me dot undo so me dot undo uh, c a n c e l so the cancel is equal to false and of course you have to do an and if and then sub let's see if there is any error 
Uh -huh. There's no any error. Okay, now it's just a last thing, last thing to do. That will be a on the save button. Just select the save button, and uh, uh, no, I don't want to run that. Yeah, on the just on the save button, you have to say that I'm save and saved must be a true and then you want to see a, a, a message box you can say a message box is a double quote exchange is saved So okay, now let's try. Good, no error. Save it and uh, save. Go to form view. Now I'm going to on a new. Okay, that's the new one. Um, new test and phone number is one two three four five six. Okay, now I'm not going to save the. I'm not going to press that button. Let's see what happened. Close form. So the last entry was new test. See, new test is not there now. Okay. Try again. Go to uh, new test. And this time I'm going to press the save button. So it says changes saved. Close and uh, just open it now there is new test so that's the only way how can you uh, how can you stop it saving data automatically that's the procedure so thank you very much for watching this video